to give a call today. Um, I mean, as you can see, we have £180,000 of business funds which are tied up in that account at present. Um, so look, I, I'm not answering, uh, looking for an answer today. I don't think you're going to release that, but just want a little bit of further clarity if that's okay. Obviously the next stage of the process and, uh, and what I can expect really. Normally what will happen when, when an account goes through a closure, um, there'll be a, a decision made, and that was done on the, the 18th, I can see there's a note there on yeah. the account. Um, a letter will be sent out the, the next day, and when the, what the letter contains is a funds release form. Um, and on that form, what, what, what we request is the information of an account that you want any funds to be transferred into. Yeah. Um, Plus, there would need to be a certified copy of your identity put in the, there as well. Um, and then that needs to be returned back to the address that's on it, um, following the instructions okay. for funds to be transferred into that account. Now, when you see that form, the, the time scale at the bottom says that the, the bank will endeavour to transfer the funds between 28 and 60 working days after the, the return of it. Mm. Um, Sometimes, once they receive it, there can be updates placed during that time that says you can get money from the branch. Um, but it's difficult for me to know, obviously, because it's yeah, of course, right. I know. there's any investigation. So, basically, in these kind of situations, Mr. Morgan, the, 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 the bank's made this decision. Yeah. Um, I don't know what they don't tell me the reasons. Don't yeah. reveal that entity, uh, believe it or not. It's, it's, it's actually, they don't have to. They'll they'll send this letter out and then they'll they'll, they'll want the fund release form to come back in. Um, the accounts facilities have all gone now though. So any online banking that you may have had gone, any card that you had has been cancelled, um, any direct debits that were set up on the account have been cancelled. So you would have to organise a new uh, bank account with a different bank. Yeah. As you no longer be able to have one with, with ourselves. Mm. So ultimately at this stage the the, the, the the bank send that letter out and um, it'll come by Royal Mail. Now we all know what the Royal Mail are like at the moment. It takes a few days for it to come, especially over Christmas. Um, I would say that if, if you don't get the letter, you can get a funds release form at a branch. And what they would do is they'd certify your ID with you there mm. and then they can send the form back. Sure. Is there another name for that form or anything like that, or is it because obviously when I'm going in the branch, when I'm going in the branches, they sort of seem to know less than I do, and I appreciate this is above obviously the guys on the floor. So just trying to work out what I asked for in the in the in the branch. What you do is you go there and you say my, my, my account's going through a, a closure. I need a copy of a funds release form. And you'd ask the branch, the member of staff, say, please, can you call the, the closures team um, on the staff number and request a copy of that form mailed to the branch so that they can print it out and give it to you. Sure, and they'll have the staff number for the closure team, will they? Yeah. That's yeah, fine. They'll, they'll have, it's, this, it's this number that you dialed, but it's option two that they, that they dialed, because that's the one that goes through to the, the staff. Sure. The, the staff option. That's fine. I mean, obviously, from my point of view, Look, I, I, I don't know why this has happened at all. Um, again, from a business point of view, it's catastrophic. I mean, we've got 180,000. Does it does it state what's in the account at the moment? Well, so just repeat that, does it state? Can, can you see, obviously, the account on your side, I guess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yes, there's so no I mean, information there. The account doesn't disappear, it's still, it's, it's there. It's, it's, always, it's always here and yeah. money just, you know, it's, it's, I can see the account at the moment. Yeah. Um, can I confirm how much is in there at the moment? Because I took £250 out the other day, which I was allowed to do. So I just signed, I've got a note of what's there at the moment. I think it's 180. I'll just tell you. Yeah, yeah I can see that £250. It's 100, because uh, you've got an overdraft facility. Yeah. Um, so the, uh, the, the available that you would be able to access is one, uh, 180,000. Yeah. Seven hundred and fifty-five pounds. Yeah, forty-seven pence. That's fine. Now, just so I can understand, look again. You've been really helpful here for my. I know it's not kind of your fault. I've done a bit of research over the weekend, as you can appreciate. So I'm just kind of trying to 
fact find a little bit. So the part of that, as you may know, is a bounce back loan as well. Will they take that back? Do you know or? Um, I I don't know. I don't I don't I, I don't know the answer to that. I it may be that they they'll take it back. Um, if you've not, uh, that's a, an answer. I don't really, I can't give you a definitive answer. Yes or no with that. Um, what I could do, and this is what I'd probably suggest, is to raise a complaint so that that gets on the system. I don't know if you've already done that or not. Yeah, we've already raised the complaints. They advised me to do that straight away. I mean, it's just from my point of view. I mean, look, we've got, we, we had no notice of this. It's a week before Christmas. We've got almost £5,000 worth of um say payments due to go out to staff and suppliers this week um obviously end of the month we've got no access to that money i mean it's putting us in a real sort of position um again i don't know if i can sort out a business account in that time i've got credit payments coming in from clients um this week as well again first of january so i'm just fearful that those are going to hit the council bounce back i mean will payments incoming be, be allowed or I don't. I, I, at the moment, there's a there's a there's a marker that means that any you, the facilities of the account have gone, so nothing's going to happen on the account. Um, what you need to do, this is what I would do. I would go today to the branch and ask them to give you a copy of that funds release form, and mm. um, that, that sent back as soon as possible. Yeah. Um, you know when you're in the branch, yes. When they phone through, when they phone through, they'll speak to the team. That can send in the form, but they're also the team that that they can they could give any possible information about if there's any funds that you can have. Yeah. So what I'd advise you to do is see when you go to the branch to do. I know it's locked down. I know it's really difficult. The yeah. branches are still open. Yeah. Um, I, as long as it's safe for yourself to do it, I'd go to a branch. Yeah. Um, get the form and say to them that can you when when they're on the phone ask if there's any funds that you can receive. I explain that you're a business and you need, you need access sure. to funds and what you need to speak to the team and the team would be the ones that will be able to say either yes or no. Yeah, I mean, look, we're, we're in a position where this sort of kind of goes into 60 days without access to that money or being able to get it. I mean, it's it's catastrophic for us really as a company. I mean, it's just, I, I can't understand why this has happened. Yeah, I don't know. As I say, I don't know. I mean, if you've got a complaint raised, they'll, you'll get a response in writing. You've got the financial ombudsman services rights when you receive that. Mm. Um, that is going to be helping in, in the interim. I, if I was yourself, I, I, as I say, if it's safe to do so, I'll go to a branch as soon as you can, get the funds release form, get that done, and then I ask them when they're on the phone getting that to the copy email to them, ask if there's any access that you can ask any funds in their account. Sure. And I mean, in terms of the funds, I mean, look, if it it says between 28 and 60 days. How is that going to be paid for me? Is that a cheque or a bank transfer? I mean, I can't imagine. It'd be a transfer. It'd be a transfer into the account and sort of code that you put on the fund release form. Sure. I mean, from obviously, from what I've seen as well online, um, I don't know, this is happening to quite a few people for various reasons. No one sort of seems to know why. I think there's certain kind of, uh, I guess, markers on your side to do with potential warnings for money laundering or things and this just gets triggered automatically um i mean have you seen any of this amount because it doesn't seem it seems like my my situation with one hundred eighty thousand is one which is particularly a high amount and again there's, there's people who've been talking about sort of amounts from personal accounts a few thousand going up to say 12 15k but i say i'm the only one that i've seen with excess of a hundred thousand i mean it just seems a lot of money to hold and it's quite a worrying amount to not have access to i mean i can't i can't really comment on anybody else uh, i can only really comment on, on yourself and i mean I, have you seen I, others I at this amount in these situations i know that it's it, the banks reviewed it and they made this decision it's it's that section 12.2 of the terms but they don't tell us they are, they honestly honestly don't tell us the reason why yeah. why the house closing so for yourself i don't know i don't know the reason I, I honestly don't. I just know that the banks reviewed this and they made this decision. So that's that's why I was asking if you had a complaint raised or not. Because from 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 that side, when when you ask for a complaint to be raised, they they respond to you, and then you, you you'll still not be told the reason. 
they don't, they just don't say the reason. You can go to the Ombudsman and if you, if you wanted to, and they, if they felt that the bank's made any error or they've not done it right, mm. what the Ombudsman can do is they can tell the bank to rectify it or, or whatever they decide to do. Mm. Um, I can't comment on anybody else. I just don't yeah. really comment. I mean, you know, without comment on it, have you seen yeah. other accounts of this amount that this has happened to? Because obviously, uh, I'm I'm feeling a little let, bit worried that I'm not going to get this money back for whatever me, reason. Let me tell you this: you you, you appreciate how busy the line is. Yeah, so I know, right? So from that, you can figure out that we have a lot of people that call through. Yeah. Um, I, I can't tell you anything about anybody else. No, of course. We have, we have lots of different people that we speak to, and yeah. lots of different things happening to them. So. Ultimately, I, I can really only comment on yourself and your and your details. I can't, I can't, sure. I can't really comment on it. But you, you appreciate by the length of time it takes to get through. Yeah. That there's, there's a lot of people calling through on this line. Understood. So there's quite a few accounts of this sort of nature. I mean, so I, I don't really. Once that's once that form's been filled out, I'm definitely going to get the money back. There's no concern there. Well, they they would let you know. So we, I don't know. Ultimately, I don't, I don't, I don't know. They, I, I know that they need the form, and then once they receive the form, they'll they'll inform the the the, the updates. And what you can do, once you've sent the form in, then you can call this number for any updates. And when an update's done, they they place it onto the system so that we can see the updates. So that when you phone, we'd be able to tell you if there's any updates or not. I know that five days approximately before they transfer funds, they send a text like, "No, they're going to do that." But what I would say to yourself is, once you've filled in the form um, and it's been sent back, depending on how you send it back, I mean, ultimately, it's over Christmas as well, so there's going to be days where, where people aren't working. Yeah. Um, I, I, you, you're going to need to, to, to phone for any updates once you've sent that form back. Um, That's fine. And just so I know as well, I've got, a, I mean, without, obviously, it's quite difficult to get business accounts at this time. Uh, a lot of banks that are sort of any reputable banks have kind of closed applications down because of obviously the time of year and I guess all the bounce back loans. My, my accountant does have a, uh, what's called a client account, but I have, it's obviously clients at the name of my uh, accountants. Could I request for the funds to be transferred there? What if I ha if I can't get a bank set up in time? You could request for the money to be sent to any account that you want. Okay. So if you want it sent to that one, Ask for permission, put the details down in the form and it will get sent there. Sure. Uh, does that work with a personal account as well? So if I've got a personal account, which I can, until I've got a business account open? Yes. So they will literally send it to any account of my choice? Any account that you put on the account number to our phone as long as you the form correctly and get a certified copy of the ID. Brilliant. Um, that they'd, they'd send it to that account. Brilliant. And have you ever seen this happen, be, the funds being released any quicker than 28 days? Sometimes they are. Sometimes, okay, sometimes so it, it it really it's it's a it's a it's an answer I can't I can't get because I don't. I mean, it, it, it really there's no way for me to be able to answer that question because I don't know. Fair I, enough. I mean, honestly, I can I can give you an answer. I'm afraid. Understood. Well, I appreciate your time anyway, and uh, yeah, I'll I'll get everything sorted that you've mentioned there, and uh, yeah, have a good Christmas, yeah. I guess. Um, yeah, good luck. All right. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Yeah, all right. Right guys, so absolutely useless really. Um, pretty much everything that everyone's told me in the group has just happened. Um, I, I think if I'm honest, I'm gonna get some legal advice before I pursue because I don't wanna be signing any forms or kind of agreeing to anything on their side before um, I've got that advice. Um, pretty frustrating, 180,000 pounds, well, 180, thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds to be exact being held at the moment um yeah so pretty annoyed haven't really got anything else um useful from that at least what i did get off the call was him uh confirming the amount that was in the account um so obviously i can hold them accountable to that i suppose so yeah hope that was useful um to anyone out there probably not worth wasting your time. I was actually on hold for an hour there, um, back in the office on a day off, which is pretty annoying. So yeah, wish everyone luck um, and I'll keep you updated. I'm gonna pop to the bank later anyway, um, after I've got this legal advice. So I might video myself in there if I can. 
Um, it'd be great to get a picture of the um, the funds on a computer. So I'll, I'll do my best and I'll keep you updated. Good luck, guys.